Hey guys, I'm going to be going through my life as a Hellion Warden in this Creatures of Scenario video. I'm currently trading for it, as you can tell, and my offer was an, the uh, Royal Gacha Creature and a Terralithics, a 700, and a Corvathos. Surprisingly, uh, this one... Well, I guess you'll just see what happens, because I don't know what else to say here. It was a very interesting trade that I definitely did. I was thinking of doing the Amini, and then I was like, you know what? Let's go for the Corthos. And then I just, yep, threw that in there. And for some reason, this guy named Boots, thank you whoever you are, for giving me this Hellion Warden. Uh, of course, I later traded it away, and that was about it. But, in return, I got a Corvorox. So, now I'm coloring it, and lord, that took forever. I, I'm a stingy person about colors. I, I can't be happy if the colors are not correct. My brain is just like, no, they must be looking good. And I tried so many different color combinations, but this guy just looks better with, like, two certain palettes, and it's not really good when trying to color them. I ended up almost killing myself over it but either way I think he came out looking great he could have looked better I decided to go for like this purple coloring and then that didn't work out because purple and white just don't pop with for me they just they don't especially not with hellions coloring good god and then well then I I actually added a warden's blessing palette to it because you know <clears throat> Then I added this blue, and I was like, you know what, I can actually live with this. So, I think this is around where I settled for the coloration and decided to play. So first of all, I walk out and I see pain. There's literally nothing here. I decided to get out of there because there was a mud puddle, and Oxytalus can place mud puddles, which are not exactly good for you, especially not when they want to murder you. So I decided to get out of there, and I went up to Flower Cove Pond, the the one on the mountain, and I immediately saw a carcass. Now, being the smart creatures of Scenario player I am, I grabbed it because you know you who doesn't grab a carcass and try to eat it. So I took that, and then I just kind of walked around. I ended up deciding to go and hide the food in a little tunnel, but first I was thinking, okay, I'll go into a little tunnel, and then I just kind of got confused here. I wasn't sure what I was going to do, because I was thinking, where's a good spot to hide? And you know, there's not a lot of good spots to hide in Flower Cove, but there is this tiny little tunnel out here hidden in the grass that you can go down and hide in. So yeah, that was fun. I managed getting into the tunnel, and yeah, I just kind of hid down here for like, ever. It was pretty much a boring process, but I sped it up so that I, you don't have to look at me like here all the, t the whole time. As I wait for my age to slowly tick up until, I, until I'm a teen. So the thing about wardens is that we literally don't have our wardens range until we're adults. So growing us is not very easy. And then I realized I could, you know, open my mouth. And then I just started messing around. <laughs> I started messing around because I was getting bored. And I was not a teen yet, and I was tired of waiting in a cave. But, uh, I decided to go out and get some water, and then completely ignore my mission of getting water, and run off. Now, you might be thinking, well, this is a dumb move. And then I later decided to completely leave the safety of the cave and run around. You know, I ended up deciding I was going to head towards Mesa because, I don't know. I also checked the chat to see if anything interesting was going on there, but there was no thing. Then I saw that thing join in, and I was like, I'm out of here. By the way, the Athulith back there is actually an owl stone creature that you can get, and it's not interesting at all. It's been floating around Trade Realm, and everybody's playing as it. So I decided to avoid it, since it could probably kill me. 
they're weak, but not that weak. Anyways, I kept heading towards Mesa, and I stopped at Flower, I mean, um, Central Rock Faces, and then I was like, ooh, meat. And also, I was checking my satiated. Then I was invited to a pack by another warden, and completely disregarded the fact that I was in a pack. Then I realized there was, like, three people that weren't even wardens or good creatures in this pack. There was a freaking Uvius, so I wasn't surprised to find that no one cared to come for look for me, as this poor baby little hellion running around Mesa. <laughs> also, I saw something jumping back there. Somebody, probably the puff lump of my pack, Silver Fox over there. Yeah, I was trying to guess who they were, going by whatever species they were playing as, and I tried to. Th I thought they were. I was thinking they were a puff lump. That was probably not smart of me. Either way. I continued to run around Mesa like a stupid child I am. Until I got up here and, um, you know, I was just not thinking about it. And I checked my age and I realized I'm 32%. I'm going to grow soon. And then it happened. I was a teen. I had somewhat some self-defense. I mean, not a lot, since Hellion the Warden does best with Warden's Rage on, but, you know, then I found this, uh, Korthos. And he was nice, he was fun. We ch chatted, like, very little, and existed with each other without killing each other. He asked me what I was, I uh, answered him, and then you know what? I just ran off, because it was a blood moon and I didn't want to get murdered. Also, because I was looking for Satiated again, since I had run out. Then, uh, Spider Star was over there, and I completely paid no regard to it. And then I saw an Angelic Warden. And my first thought was, oh, cred, he's flying over here. I am 100% going to die. <laughs> I fly away, and then I cower. Because there's no way to run from an Ange Angelic Warden as a Hellion. Those things can fly. Then he ended up being nice, so that was very nice. Then I just said thank you for not killing me. <laughs> because, you know, teen Hellion Wardens are not exactly strong. Then they started killing my pack member, which I did not respond to a bit because they didn't care about me. And then I continued my journey through Tundra in order to find the meat I was looking for. Then he started hanging around more. This angelic warden was now addicted to me. I don't know why. I said hi. And then I was like, did you get the lizard guy? <laughs> and you know what? He did not respond one bit. I sat down with him, being polite. And then the most shocking thing happened. I saw a sharer rook just running around the background. I eventually warned him about there being a sharer. And you know... He was just chilling in the background. <laughs> that thing could kill me. And I was out of there. Uh, that's... B Being alien warden as a teen and adolescent are not very interesting. You really want to be an adult as these things, and I decided to grow mine, which was stupid. Then I saw a baby Gardegus, and my first thought was satiated. Yes! By the way, if you don't know what Satiated does, it basically gives you 50% less growth time. And yeah, I tried to chase this guy down. Now, as you guys know, the Hellion Warden is definitely not fast. And since I had used my uh, ambush ability, my drain was even worse. So I tried to chase this guy down a little bit more, but then basically lost interest. Yes, the Angelic was still with me. And then I just saw another Hellion Warden. And my first thought was, oh my god, someone of my own species. How rare is that? Not really rare, but you know. And I was just, I just saw him cowering and I was like, okay, maybe he's friendly. He'll be friendly to me, right? Or he'll murder me right off the bat and I will lose all my growth progress and have to come murder him with a Uvius. Either way, he cowered back to me, and I was very happy. 
I had met my own Hellion Warden friend, and he was also with a skin and a Disturgeon, which I didn't talk to at all. I just said hi there, and I never got a response. Either way, remember that Felioso you saw? That one? The one on screen right there? Yeah, he becomes a problem way later, but he's not a problem right now. So basically, I'm just running around doing nonsense with my Hellion Warden. Yep, you see that, Velioso? He's the problem. While I'm waiting to uh, grow, I'm just chilling, and you know what? Nothing happens. I'm still wishing I had satiated, and then he decides to brave my friend. Yeah, you can tell I didn't take too kindly to that, because I started aggroing him. Then he ran at me and started biting me. Quickly, he learned that I was a worthy opponent and knew how to shock. So, while he was stuck on the ground, I continuously bit him. As you can see, my Hellion Warden friend did nothing. I suppose maybe he was not interested in the fight. Either way, I continuously went after the Felioso, and then he invited me to a pack. Don't know how that helped, but you know. I wasn't going to let this back me down. Then he just laid down, so I did the smart thing of doing absolutely nothing and as let the adult handle the situation. <laughs> I literally don't know how to fight a Felioso as a Hellion Warden. This is so odd. The thing was, this wasn't really a real fight either, because nobody was going after each other. We were kind of both just getting hits here and there and, you know, existing near each other. I started hitting him with my tail because it wasn't really more effective, but it certainly was less bitey. <laughs> and honestly, I don't think it did much. The Felioso was still alive, so that was fun. He just kind of sat there, and I kind of sat there, and then he started breathing me, so I charged at him. You know, because Hellion Warden is so well known for their charge ability <laughs> that they don't have. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, then, then it flew away. Then it, like, the thing was, it was just laying on the cliff, and we kind of just chilled. He turned on his warden's rage, and then turned it off. Then the angelic was back. And I completely ignored it. And then the felioso was back. And gave up mid, mid-battle. Like, he aggroed at us and then was like, okay, I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs> like, he backed up, too, which was so weird. It's like, do you want to fight or do you want to flight? <laughs> Either way, that was basically the end of the Felioso problem. He was gone. Completely. And so I kind of just ignored it. Later, we just kind of sat in a hole for, uh... Ever. And then I got bored, so I ran around. And I found a carcass and finally got that satiated I wanted. Then I found another carcass and started eating that. Then I went back to the hole. Because the hole is safety. And we slept together. Not in a weird way. Like a mom-daughter way. Because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a female. The Hellion Warden. <sighs> yeah. Th 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 it was completely boring, to be honest. So, um, yeah, that, that's about it. I, I then was just waiting to turn into an adult. That part was pretty boring, and then I was like, oh, oh, I have Warden's Rage now. How fun. I'm gonna drink this water, and then I'll complain about it. So, yeah, I continued on with my wonderful journey as a Hellion Warden, and, uh, my friend was fun. I was sticking around with them because, you know... An adult Hellion Warden is a lot, and two of them is even more, and that Oxytalus that was over here was scaring me, so I was terrified and didn't want to lose all my work. <laughs> and I was also trying to elder this thing. Don't know how an elder Hellion Warden would have lasted in my inventory, if it had actually eldered. Foreshadowing! It probably would have never left my inventory, let's be honest here. Then I was just like, oh, my friend's gone. Let me get this gotcha real quick. <laughs> and so, yeah, I continued on as a Hellion Warden doing absolutely nothing. 
and this Fantaris started hanging out with me. Then there was an Oxy Talus that then later chased me down. This guy keeps appearing, like, everywhere. He was chasing me. He literally just wanted to kill me. I don't know how a Hellion Warden would have held up in a fight with an Oxy Talus, but I, uh, I avoided him. Obviously. Then there was a Cav, so I avoided that guy. And the Fantaris was just sticking around, you know? He was great. He was a great guy. And then I found a Boreal Warden. And his first reaction was to cower to me. So, we were friends. That was great. Then another one spawned in. And immediately left. Then I just ate food. Because I was hungry. And I hadn't eaten in a while. There was actually quite a few things here. So, that was interesting. And it was pretty chill, you know? Everything was going well. People were spawning in. It was it was cool. There was nothing really bad going on. I didn't then decided to go roll in the mud for a mission, but then that was about it. <laughs> a Felioso spawned in, and then some chaos kind of happened. So uh, there was kind of like a poly monstrum in the pond, and I did not see this guy. And I just kept hitting him with my tail because I'm stupid and I don't know how to fight with a Hellion Warden, obviously. And so that obviously did no damage. He laid down and then for some reason I didn't turn around to kill him. I don't know what I was doing. I thought he had backed off and then he just went around my backside and started trying to kill me again. That was stupid, wasn't it? And you know what? I I died. I tried to log, but I, I, I died. You can see very well that I died. And you know, I didn't get anything from it. So that was, that was sucky. Either way, that was my experience as a Hellion Warden. And uh, if you enjoyed it, maybe, maybe you can hit that subscribe button. And maybe you can hit that like button. Anyways, that's about it, and goodbye. Oh, I'm glad.